Good morning, BookTube. Bill Rutenberg here with the Rutenberg Library. Uh, come to you this morning with a couple things to get accomplished. Uh, I got a book haul here. It's a smaller book haul that uh, when we went, my wife and I went shopping yesterday and and uh, in order to keep me happy, she let me go do a little book hunting. And so I picked up a couple volumes and I wanted to show those to you. So it's a book haul. But before I get to the book haul, uh, I wanted to give you a big thank you. Uh, this has been an awesome experience as just being a booktuber and just being able to share my likes and dislikes and all that kind of stuff with books. And uh, recently, I got the official um, thing from YouTube saying you hit 100 subscribers. So uh, I wanted to say thank you for that. That That is an awesome experience, and it's been fun getting to know some of you uh, and getting to, you know, do that, the, the talking back and forth with you about books and just getting to, for me to get to share what I've got and, and my collection and just my love of books. Uh, this It's been a lot of fun. I've appreciated getting to know you and your love of books and you know I thought I read a lot and I have been put in my place because I found out that you guys there's a lot of you that read a whole lot more than me and so um, anyway it's been a it's been a fun journey so far it's only been a couple months but it's been a fun journey uh, getting to a hundred subscribers and I really appreciate uh, all of you that have subscribed to the channel and um, I just want to keep growing. I think this is great. This is a lot of fun and and uh, I hope I can continue to do that and I hope I can continue to carry on great conversations with you. So um, without further ado, let's get into this uh, this book haul. I almost wanted to say it's a leap year book haul <laughs> because uh, yesterday it dawned on me, oh yeah, it's a leap year. Uh, what kind of video am I going to do? So this is going to be my video. I know it's not really much you know like yay but I like it so anyway let me let me share with you um, actually first of all last weekend I picked up a couple of new volumes from the library so let me do those first um, and I say new new used books from the library they were out on the freebie shelf and I was very excited. The first one is The Private Franklin, The Man and His Family. And this is by Claude Ann Lopez and Eugenia W. Herbert. And uh, I thought this was in excellent condition for its age. There's the authors there. Sorry about that glare. And I thought it was in really good shape considering the age of the book. It's a 1975 book from W.W. W. Norton and company out of New York and um, it just it looks like it's gonna be a good read I like Ben Franklin he's one of my favorites to read about um, but the books got some you know some black and white pictures in the middle the spine of the books in pretty good condition it's got a little bit of uh, age from from the Sun on the on the cover but that's all right that doesn't bother me that much all right, and the second book, and this one's actually more because of watching your guys' videos. Uh, everybody always gets excited when they find the letters and diaries, you know, books on letters and diaries of certain famous people. And I've never, just being honest with you, I've never been into that. And it, it's probably just out of ignorance because I've never even tried it. And so I saw this book, Wallace and Edward Letters 1931 to 1937, The Intimate Correspondence of the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Uh, and it's edited by Michael, uh, is that Block? Yeah, Block. Bloke. Block. I don't know. But I saw this and I kept seeing all of your videos and how excited you got on getting books on their letters. And the memoirs and stuff like that and so I was like you know what I'm gonna pick one up and I'm gonna try it and so uh, this this part of my book haul is dedicated to all of you that like books on letters alright so now now we get to yesterday's book haul so we went to St. Joe and we went to do our our monthly shopping trip and um, asked my wife if she could stop I'd been to books revisited a couple times and sometimes you have to you know, wait a little bit to let them cycle through some of the uh, stock. And so I didn't want to go to Books Revisited uh, yesterday, but I did want to go to the Jesse James Outlet Mall. And uh, it's it's basically an antique mall. They have this huge uh, building that's got a whole bunch of individual 
um, you know, a bunch of individual sellers, and they've all got just a whole lot of old stuff in there. And there is one seller in the back, and I'm not sure what his name is. One of these days I'm going to figure out what his name is, but his, his little stall that he's got is in the back of the building, and it's got uh, books in it. And it always has a fairly good selection of Civil War stuff in it. And so I picked up, I, I went back there looking for Civil War stuff. And this is one of them I found. A couple of these are Civil War and one is not. But they're all in really good condition, like almost brand new condition. Um, this is the first book, um, let's see, A Civil War Saga, April 1865, The Month That Saved America by Jay Winnick. And I was very excited to get this. I had seen this advertised. I don't remember where I saw it advertised, but I've seen it advertised. And uh, so I got real excited about this one. Uh, this is a perennial book, and it was published in 2001. Oh, excuse me, this particular volume is 2002. But um, I was real excited to pick this up. I'd seen this advertised, and, and I wanted to try it, and I saw it, so I bought it. And... Um, I think it's going to be a really good volume. Again, for almost brand new condition, like that one. That one actually, I mean, the corners on the on the it's a paperback, and the corners aren't bent up or anything, and spine is in. If you can see that, spine's in uh, beautiful condition. Just great, great find. All right, and the next one I found that is Civil War related, or at least antebellum period, is called. Mightier Than the Sword, Uncle Tom's Cabin in the Battle for America. And this is by David S. Reynolds. So we get a book, I believe, that is about Harriet Beecher Stowe and how Uncle Tom, the book Uncle Tom's Cabin helped induce the war. Now, I bought, not that long ago, I did buy the, uh, the book Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uh, we read excerpts from it in class, but I've never... Um, you know, shame on me, but I've never read the entire volume, and so I bought the, the the classics book, and I plan on reading that. And when I saw this, I thought this is awesome because I can read the book, and then I can come back and read this as kind of a companion novel almost. Uh, and it talks about the you know the importance of the book and how it uh, how it led to the war, and or I think that's that's what I'm guessing this is about. But anyway, I was real excited to pick that up. That was, I thought, a good find. And it's, again, in, in very good condition. The, the cover is slightly warped. Slightly. Not bad. But um, anyway, it's in really good shape. Um, let's see. This is a W.W. W. Norton and Company out of New York. And it is a 2011 book. So a fairly new, fairly new book. And then the third book that I picked up, fifth book overall for this book haul uh, that I picked up at the Jesse James Antique Mall was called 1493, Uncovering the New World Columbus Created by Charles C. Mann. He's uh, also the author of 1491. Now, I got excited about this because at school, of course, we talk about Columbus and how, or, you know, the impact that Columbus had when the... Uh, Europeans came and what that did to the Native Americans that were living here and and the you know we talk about some of the atrocities and how how uh, when Columbus came it totally changed the culture of everything and so um, I thought this book you know is going to definitely go hand in hand with that adventure at school this is a Alfred A. Knopf uh, New York 2011 now I was one of the other reasons I was real excited to see this book was because um, in the teachers magazines that we get the, the order forms they always give out a social studies order form and they'll have trade books in there and I am fairly certain I've seen over and over again the book 1491 and then the book 1493 in that trade magazine but the price in those magazines is always really high and I I wanted a copy I want to read it but I didn't want to pay that and so when I found this I got super excited so I picked these up all three of these books were three bucks each and I was not uh, worried about paying that just because they are in pretty much brand new condition <coughs> excuse me 
uh, they're in pretty much brand new condition. So I was okay paying that. Uh, anyway, I thought it was a good find. I thought it was a good leap year find. And I wanted to share that with you. Uh, stay tuned a little bit later. I'm, I think I'm going to do a, a book tag for you. I'd been recommended by another, another viewer, another channel. And uh, I'm going to share that with you. But that'll probably be this afternoon. So until that time, have a great day, BookTube.